not seeing my videos in your subscription feed, make sure you've clicked the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of all my newest uploads. Hey, what's up? People Piz out here, and let's talk about movie trailers. Now, this is a video that I've wanted to make for quite some time, but it was Kong Skull Island that finally motivated me to want to make this video. Now, I saw Kong Skull Island last week, and I really enjoyed the movie. I liked it quite a bit. However, I felt like I would have liked it a lot more had I not seen the trailer because I felt like the trailer for Kong Skull Island gave away way too much of the movie. They showed way too much of Kong himself in the movie. They gave away way too much of the plot of the movie in the trailer. Uh, there were several big hero shots from the film that they showed in the trailer. So the movie felt like less of a surprise for me. Those sequences that should have been a surprise, like characters dying in the film, I felt like the trailer had foreshadowed even them dying. So I really felt like Kong Skull Island was less of a brand new movie that I was just seeing for the first time. And it felt strangely enough more like a movie like an old favorite that i had pulled off the shelf i dusted off and popped into the blu-ray player that i hadn't seen in a while it felt familiar but there was there was like a distance there there was a um i remembered a lot of it but not all of it kind of thing and that really got me thinking about just movie trailers in general and how movie trailers these days seem like less of a promotional tool to get people excited for the movie, to just show people a little peek, a little glimpse behind the curtain at the bigger picture, the movie itself. And trailers these days have become the Cliff's Notes version of the movie. They've become the truncated version of the movie. I, as I'm sure you, have seen countless trailers and our reaction has been, well, I don't need to see that movie now. They gave away everything in the trailer. And after Kong Skull Island, I was having a conversation with my girlfriend, and she asked, you know, why do the studios feel that they need to give away so much of the movie in the trailer? And the only thing that made sense to me, the only answer that made sense to me was that the studios think we're stupid. That just simply calling a movie Kong Skull Island isn't enough to sell to the audience that this is a King Kong movie. Like, we see a poster that says Kong Skull Island and we go, Kong. Hmm. I really liked King Kong, but this just says Kong. I can't be the same thing. I'll skip it. Um, so that they have to show us literally not just every inch of Kong himself <laughs> to say, hey, this is King Kong. This is the big monkey King Kong. But we have to show what the movie is about. We have to show all the big um, action sequences in the film, literally all the big action sequences, the big set pieces from Kong Skull Island are in the trailer. So we have to let everybody know that it's not just a King Kong movie, but that it's a big action movie as well. So you're going to have King Kong, but there's going to be lots of running and shooting and jumping and things blowing up to keep you interested in this movie when Kong isn't necessarily on screen. And before Kong Skull Island, we sat through literally, I'm not joking, 40 to 45 minutes of trailers. And literally every single trailer was exactly the same in that every trailer gave away way too much of the movie. I, not a single trailer before Kong Skull Island, 45 minutes worth of trailers, none of them made me want to watch the movie. They either didn't sell me the movie or they gave way too much about the movie away to the point where why would I want to go spend 8, 10, 12, 15 or more dollars 
when I literally know exactly what's going to happen in that movie from the trailer. I know what the movie's about. I know where it's going to progress. And basically, I know how the movie's going to end as well, based on what kind of movie it is. So thanks. You saved me some money. I, I saw the Cliff's Notes version of that movie in the trailer. Now let's take a look at the trailer for Ridley Scott's Alien from 1979. And now granted, a lot of trailers for 70s movies gave way, way, way too much away. Case in point, the trailer for Bob Clark's Black Christmas. Literally, that trailer <laughs> spoils every kill in the movie. Go look it up. I'm not joking. Every kill in Black Christmas is spoiled in that trailer. But let's look at the Alien trailer from 1979. You have an image of space. You have an image of the egg. You have a voice that says, in space, no one can hear you scream. And the title, Alien. Perfect. Gave nothing away aside from the fact that this is a movie about an alien. It's probably going to be scary and it takes place in space. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now let's say they showed sequences in that trailer from, say, the dinner sequence. The sequence where the chest burster comes out of John Hurt's chest. In arguably one of the most shocking and surprising moments in movie history. And why was it so shocking and surprising? Because we didn't see it coming. That sequence starts out so mild, so safe, so sort of aloof. It's a, uh, it's sort of a team building, um, sort of, you know, everybody's happy go lucky. And then all of a sudden all hell breaks loose. What if they'd shown even bits and pieces of that sequence in that trailer? You would have been waiting for the dinner sequence and you would have known something bad was going to happen. Now rest assured, if Alien was being released today in 2017, that sequence would be in the trailer. That sequence would absolutely be in that trailer. Probably quite a bit of that sequence would be in the trailer. So let's look at the Alien Covenant trailer. Alien Covenant is coming out this summer. I saw the trailer. I'm excited to go see Alien Covenant, but I felt like I'd already seen a third of it just from watching the trailer. I know what the movie's about. I know what the plot is. I know that one major character is going to get face hugged and probably have the chest burster come out of him. I know that one character, instead of having a chest burster, he's going to have a back burster. And we saw the alien. We saw the alien up close and personal. So what is there really left to reveal about Alien Covenant? I know how the movie starts. I know where the plot goes. And I pretty much know more or less how the movie's going to end because Ridley Scott's even said, you know, he's planning four, five, six more Alien prequels. So really, I'm paying to see... I I'm paying to have them fill in the blanks for me. What few blanks that remain that weren't filled in from the trailer, I'm paying them my eight, 10, 12, 15, 20 dollars, what have you, to have them fill in those blanks. And I feel like I've already seen a third of the movie just from the trailer. I've made it a point for years and years and years to avoid reviews if they're for a movie that I really want to go see because I like to walk into a movie knowing as little about it as possible. And hopefully have the movie really surprise me. I'm going to have to add trailers to that list now. Because trailers these days give away way too much of the movie. And again, the only reason that makes sense to me as to why the studios feel it's necessary to make these trailers the way that they are is because they think we're stupid. They think that if we, they don't pound us over the head and spell out in crayon exactly what this movie is about and who's in this movie and what kind of movie it is and, and where it's going to go, 
then we just won't get it. We won't want to go and watch it. I don't know. I mean, that 1979 Alien trailer today wouldn't even be considered a teaser. They wouldn't touch that thing today <laughs> with a 10-foot pole. Because they'd be like, that's just too abstract. That's too oblique. People aren't going to know what's going on there. What's that egg-looking thing? Why, I No, people will not. They're not going to get it. They just won't get it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. What do you guys think of trailers today? Do they give away way too much of the movie? Do you guys think that the studios just think that we're stupid and we won't get it unless they give us these long, elaborate, spoiler-filled trailers for movies? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm really interested to hear your guys' thoughts on this topic if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.